this is a hook. Okay. Slip. Slip. Oh, oh, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Loso 2.0, the business prophet himself. Yes, I'm at work again. You know me. I have to drop these gems to you guys whenever I can. However, but you guys are going to get these daily gems from Loso, all right? To help you guys with life. And today, I'm going to talk about getting comfortable in a fight. For y'all that know, maybe watch my story. I've been boxing for quite some time. I would say probably a month and some change. Made great strides. Absolutely love it. Looking to compete. Have fun. All that good stuff. But I'm going to just start like this. I'm a tense guy. I really do not know why. But it just seems that every single opportunity, no, not just every single thing I do, I'm just naturally tense at it. At first, I'm not very flexible. With basketball, when I was shooting, I was shooting like this. I was just a tense guy. Anybody that knows. Dribbling like this. I start to, with everything that I do, I have to build a learned com comfortability. My coach was telling me to relax. I really don't know how I was going to, but he told me I needed to be comfortable when we were sparring. He would continuously tell me, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. He's a pro boxer. So if he wanted to hurt me, I was going to get hurt regardless. But it still didn't make me become comfortable with his reassurance that he wasn't going to hurt me. I've never been in that situation before. So how could I react? And how could I not be tense? Could you imagine that? How your face will look all swollen, like rocky, when you got beat up by Creed, Adonis Creed? No. I... And not letting that happen to myself. And this is just with boxing. It's with everything that I do in life. Whatever obstacle I face, I'm just tense at first. This is called fear. Will Smith said it best when he's, he's a phenomenal speaker, by the way. Will Smith said fear is your imagination creating the worst case possible scenario. Kind of like jealousy. Jealousy is similar. You think that you're going to fail. Well, you know you're going to fail. You are going to fail. But you think you're going to fail in the worst possible way. And boxing people die. You think you're going to get punched in, in check. But the thing about failing, or in this case, boxing... You're going to get punched in the face. You eventually are going to learn how to block. All right. And there are different types of punches. Just like in life, there are different types of opportunity or obstacles that may go in the way. But in this case, I'm making the scenario with boxing. There's the jab. There's the hook. And then there's the uppercut. For the most part, there's those three. There are different types of punches, not with just boxing, but with everything else. But for the most part, those are the three types of punches that you're going to come across. At first, you're going to get the jab. You're going to get punched in the face a couple times. I've been punched a couple times in the face there. You learn to block. Then you'll ne then next, you'll get more comfortable where I'm getting, I see myself becoming more comfortable in a situation where I'll jab, I can slip it. But then, every once in a while, your opponent's not going to jab the whole time. Your opponent's going to throw a hook. And you're going to get hit in the face. It's inevitable. You're going to get hit in the face. So now, you have to learn how to protect yourself from that. And every single time, it's not going to be the same speed. Jab, hook. One, two. Then he, then your opponent might really speed it up or he might slow it down. It's not going to be the same every single time. Just like in life. Things are going to happen suddenly without 
you even noticing anything happening. So you have to learn to protect yourself and block and dip and dodge that. And maybe not the second time. Maybe not the third, fourth, tenth time. Maybe not even the hundredth time. But eventually, you will learn how to adapt. You'll learn how to slip. You'll learn how to block. Eventually, it will become second nature. Once you learn how to do that, you become unstoppable. That's where the pros, now they're down here. They can shoulder roll. They can have their hands down because they learn to adapt and slip and block. This is what you must learn to do with failures in your life. Sometimes life will throw that jab. Sometimes life will throw that hook. Sometimes they'll throw that uppercut and they'll be at different speeds with different hands. But you must learn to get hit, get knocked down, get back up and adapt and turn your failures into feedback. And with that being said, 2.0 out.